Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are down to three in the Caribbean poker adventure. We have a former Russian, a Swede, and an Englishman all going at it. You talk about an international game. The World Poker Tour means what it says. It is truly a World Poker Tour. Right now, Alex out in front with about 2.2 million. And then we go back to Michael Westerlin with about 1.3. John Gale with 1.1. Action on Alex with the button. This time he has 9-4 in his hand. The ops to fold it. Okay, on John. Oh, and John Gales picked up a big hand. Ace-10 of spades. All right. And he is going to raise it. He's John's made it 230,000 to go. It is push time. Michael looking at his hand. And he looks down at the king-10. That's... You jump through hoops over on your opponent's bet 230,000 into you. Let's see what Michael's going to do. He's going all in with oh, it. Oh, he's done it. He's come over the top for all his money, putting John Gale to the test right here. Cool. Oh, and he got quickly called down by yeah. John Gale. Just a bold call right here by John Gale, but the correct call. Means this pot is going to have well over $2.2 million in it. Whoever wins it is going to be the chip leader. John Gale's life on the line again, but right now he's in a dominating position. They shake hands. Now, we know, of course, John Gale in a great place, ace-10 versus king-10, but the Swede doesn't know it yet. Yeah, very good. It's not the best. It's not the best. Okay. All right, let's turn up your cards, players. The watcher's expression should be very interesting. King-10 for Michael. Pad the walls. You see the pain right there. <laughs> Swedes usually stay very cool, but you just can't when you see that. You know you're a big dog. I was hoping for uh, maximum ace jack or something. Good luck again. Look at these Europeans. Oh. They love each other. Right now, we're going to see ace 10 versus king 10. If the Swede should get lucky, he could eliminate the Englishman at this point. Here we go with the flop. Flop is six, seven, eight with two spades. Now, that's more doom for the Swede because his opponent now has the nut flush draw. Right now, Michael must catch a king or a nine. That's not a spade to stay alive in this tournament. You only got three nines. He needs some big time help. Here's the turn. Uh oh. Well, it's a spade. That's going to do it. It doesn't matter what comes on the river. John Gale has made the nut flush. There is no card Michael can catch. That's going to absolutely cripple the Swede. Last card irrelevant. Yeah, and so would I. Vince, the Cinderella story is alive and well. Can John Gale put on the glass slipper? He took one giant step to do so right there. Everything going his way right now. He has turned it around. This is getting to be fun for him. So a severe blow right there for Michael Westerlin. Made that King 10 very aggressive, and it cost him. Absolutely crushing there. Michael is down, but not out. Can he come back from the short stack? The Swede, boy, he has one foot in the coffin right now. And he's had to ante 10,000 and put 30,000 more in the small blind. So he is really short stacked. Action on John. He throws away a queen seven into Michael, who has a queen three of diamonds. Well, all in. Well, he's going for it. He's putting it all in right here, right now. I don't blame him for that. He has pulled the ripcord all in with his queen three. Now, let's look at Alex's hand. Well, he's got the Dolly Parton hand, nine to five. That's going to cost Alex 90 more thousand to call. Well, there's 240,000 in the pot. And he's getting well over two to one on his money. He can certainly afford to make this call. He would like to take this guy out. He would be a dog, of course, but well, he's a pro gambler. He knows unless his opponent has an overpair, getting about three to one odds on his money. You're in good shape, but you're getting called. It's worth the call, and that's what he's doing. Yes, he's made the call. Turns over the Dolly Parton hand. Nice opportunity for Michael Westerlin to double up. So Michael Westerlin with the queen three of diamonds. Alex Ballenden with the 9-5 offsuit. They shake hands. A lot of love at this table. I hope you lose. <laughs> a lot on the line. Well over a half a million dollars between third and first place. Here's the flop. It's a jack 6-5. Well, there you have it. Alex has hit the pair of fives. So what that means is Michael must catch a queen or two running cards to make a straight or a flush. Otherwise, he will be our third place finisher. 461 players started down to these three. The Swede on the ropes. Here's the turn. 
The three comes off. He's got a piece of it. They must catch another three or a queen. If not, we're going to be down to heads up action in this tournament. He will be our third place finisher today. One more card to come for the salesman. What will it be? It's an eight. Not going to do it. Nope. There you have it. Oh, it's banana boat time. Well, Micah Westerlin, the most aggressive player at the table here today. He is a joy to watch play poker. He mixes up his game so brilliantly. He showed him how to play the big time game. Came in here just a day or two before the event, Vance bought in. He was on a roll, won a couple tournaments in a row. Thought he might keep the streak going. Performed very well here this week. And he's high-fiving the crowd. So the salesman from Sweden walks away with $306,000. We got to say goodbye. I, I said after one day, day one, now I'm sure I'm going to be top five. Mm -hmm. After day two, I said, now I'm sure I'm going to be top two. Mm. I was wrong then. <laughs> We're about to see the money presentation here at Atlantis. Whoa. And here comes Poseidon. A bevy of beauties here in Atlantis. Wow. wow. And they're carrying plenty of money. <laughs> oh, look at this spectacle here at Atlantis. Nice cash today. The colors, the cash. And for those that don't know, Atlantis was a mythological city. Poseidon was the ruler of the lost city of Atlantis. And the crowd is just eating this up, loving this. Okay, now we're gonna this is the World Atlantis. Poker Tour where you see the cash and someone winning it. Well, the macho match about to begin. Well, both players starting out with almost the same amount of money, so it's anybody's game from here. Who's going to take the $900,000 first prize? It's going to be on John Gale. He has eight six of diamonds on the first hand. I'm going to raise. And he's going to raise it. 50. He's going up to 180,000. Yep, he raises 120,000. Alex Jump looks down at Queen Deuce of Clubs. Is he going to compete here on the first hand? Okay. Make it 400. Look oh. at this. Alex is going to raise advance with a Queen Deuce. Now it's been going over the top to with just Queen now. Deuce of Clubs. I call. Well, he's calling advance. Doesn't even hesitate with the 8 6 of diamonds. Calls the $280,000 re-raise. It is a big okay, pot development right here on the very first hand. Don't forget, this is no limit. That anything you want at any time. Over 800000 in this pot already. These guys are not wasting any time, Vince. We don't miss about, do we, on it? No. This thing could literally be over in one hand. We will see. Incredible action. Let's see what happens on the flop. And John has flopped a straight five, flush four, draw. It's diamonds. come nine five four with two diamonds. Now Alex, Alex wisely checks. checks here. I'm all in. And John's going to go all in with this. Fold. Alex quickly John folds, and John Gale okay. takes it down. And because that hefty little paw, we have a new chip he leader. Chip leader it's John Gale. Yes, it is. So he gives himself a clap. Gutsy call by John Gale, and a nice flop. Lots of potential there. He goes all in with it and quickly takes down the pot. We are playing no limit, Texas Hold'em. Don't forget, in heads-up action, it's not the cards you hold. It's the bets that are bold. Alex looking down at his hand. He's got Jack-8 this time, offsuit. Freeze. And he's going to raise it. He continues to be aggressive in this heads-up action. He pops it up to 180,000. Right into John Gale. Peeks down to the Jack-10 offsuit. He's now the chip leader with close to 2.7 million. Cost him another 120,000 to call here. Cool. And he's doing it. So he's made the call. He is going to invest. We're going to see another flop. 380,000 out there. It's Jack-10 for John. Jack-8 for Alex. Here comes the flop. King-10-8. Oh, they both got a piece of it. Now, John has flopped second pair. Alex has flopped bottom pair. They both have the same kicker. That is correct, and it's on John first to act. What's he going to do with his pair of tens? He's going for his holster, Vince. He's going to bet this second pair. It appears so. 350. 350,000. Into the razor before the flop. Hoping to just blow this guy out of his hand. 
Alex, you remember, has bottom pair here. Bryce. Oh, Bryce. boy, he's going to raise it. Unbelievable boldness on the part of Alex. This is crazy poker time. He played his queen deuce extremely aggressive the last hand. He's playing the jack eight more aggressive. This could do it, folks, in case they play this pot out. This tournament could end right here. Did he overstep his boundary? He has raised us a half a million dollars. A strong re-raise by Alex here. He's saying, I don't believe you have a king. I think you got to lay this hand down. John Gale with a big problem. We can see John has the best hand. But folks, when you're sitting there and the man raised you a half a million dollars, second pair just doesn't look that good anymore. What a squeeze play by this raise, even if he gets called. Just got to respect this kind of raise. A tough decision for John Gale from England right here. What you got left, Alex? Well, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred and ten thousand. Well, this would be call of a lifetime. He's thinking it'd be all over right now if he should make this call and continue on. He lays it down. Now, too much pressure on him, though. Well, give Alex credit there, Vance. He just bombarded him with chips. He put power poker into display right there and made John lay down the best hand. Amazing play. Tremendous move by the pro. 33 years old, starting to find his stride. We are going back and forth in the heads up competition. Don't go away. We'll be right back from Atlantis here on the World Poker Tour. com. What's your game? Live, uncut, and on until the last card is drawn. Partypoker.com Poker Den. 10.05 Friday, exclusive to player. Part of Challenge. In the future, everyone will protect their eyes from sun damage just like they protect their skin. Transitions lenses block harmful UV rays and automatically shield your eyes from glare by adjusting to changing light. So don't wait until tomorrow. The danger is here today. And so is the protection. Ask your optician about Transitions lenses. The new Tefal Program 8 iron. Just choose the setting and it automatically adjusts the temperature and steam. Tefal, ideas you can't live without. I'm late to my sister's wedding, mum and dad in the back, and I get a flat tyre and the spare's flat as well. Now, I hate when you go to a mechanic. They always make that sucking sound like it's going to be a big job. But I went to Quick Fit and instead of going like, he was like, OK, let's get you back on the road. I mean, they were busy, but they managed to fix it in no time at all. I guess if you do something over and over again, you become the experts. Quick Fit will fix it. Vaseline's Aloe Fresh with Cucumber brings your skin to life. For refreshed, revitalized skin, take Vaseline Intensive care of yourself. Sales calls. Never a good time, is there? Hmm. You have been chosen. Special offer. Let's talk about lagging. So BT has launched BT. World Poker Tour is sponsored by 888.com. Welcome back to the Bahamas. We're heads up for a poker star's first prize on the show that started it all, the World Poker Tour. There you see Miami John. Up 